Hey, greetings. It's uh, 18 October 2013. Today is the first day that the Windows 8.1 update has been released to the general public. And mine became available on my computer about a little after midnight. And just last night, so I went ahead and did the update. Didn't video that process because I thought it would be a non, uh, non-event, but that's not quite what turned out to be the case. It was a pretty lengthy uh, upgrade, probably about an hour, I would say. But the end result for me is on this uh, Toshiba P55T, which is a touchscreen, probably the middle of the line the computer, which is about three months old and came uh, pre-installed with Windows 8, is that I have lost my uh, touchscreen capability. Nothing, not a... Sometimes after a reboot, it'll be there for maybe a minute or so, then it just goes away. Um, Toshiba did have me upgrade probably about five of their drivers before the Windows 8.1 upgrade, and then after that there was a few more. And I also did a Windows update, but uh, still no luck. So did a Google last night. Didn't see anybody else reporting the same problem yet. So we'll have to see what's going to happen there. Something else to report is that during the uh, 8.1 update process, it forced me to log into my Windows Live account, <clears throat> which it forced me to create back when I installed Windows 8 on this when I originally purchased it. Otherwise, I really have no desire whatsoever to have a Windows Live account for any reason. Apparently, Microsoft's trying to follow suit with Apple and Google and forcing you to tie your device, tablets, and phones in the uh, case of the previous two to uh, to their service so they can keep track of you for whatever reasons that most of you probably already know and suspect. In any regards, I had uh, went ahead and set this up to have a local account after the initial install because, like I said, I really don't want to be tied to Microsoft Live, so they can keep an eye on what I'm doing. I mean, this laptop's used for personal finances and business use, and data security is of utmost importance to me. In any regard, I wasn't too happy about them forcing me to uh, log in during the upgrade, but the end result was they undid my local login and tied me back to a Windows Live login for the local computer. So what I had to do is I had to go to my settings, change PC settings, Go to accounts, and I, I've already set it back to a local account, but up here it would have had your Windows Live account, and there was a link down here where it says connect to a Microsoft account to disconnect the Microsoft account. Once I did that, we were uh, good to go. The other annoying thing they did is during the 8.1 upgrade process is that they informed me that from now on, all my photos imported to this computer will be automatically uploaded to the SkyDrive, which, again, I really do not want. Fortunately, there was a link underneath that option during the upgrade to uh, turn that off. <laughs> Funny, right next to it in parentheses it said, NOT RECOMMENDED. Nonetheless, uh, they are trying to force you to uh, tie into their service, so if you do the upgrade, make sure you're aware of that and uh, undo it if it's not what you want. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, I really don't see a whole lot of changes here. I mean, one of the big things is when you log in, you can force it to go automatically to your desktop and this is their big start menu. You, know, you thought that you're going to get something back like we used to have, which I get with Pokey here, but really all it does is take you to their, if you even get it to come up, back to their funky Metro start. So I don't know how they consider that, giving you what you used to have in previous versions of Windows, but hey, we're just the customers. What do we know? All right, if I ever get this uh, touchscreen issue resolved, I'll let you know. Cheers.